Welcome back again to another episode on SCADA 123's Dealing with Relays. On this episode we're going to be dealing with the 16 output relays. We already covered the 14 relay, or I'm sorry, the 4 relays as you saw before. Basically that one we already showed you about how the normally closed, normally open relays work. Showed you a little bit of the output for an LED. This is pretty much the exact same thing. The difference being now you're up to 16. That brings about a couple issues that don't seem to be covered very well. So I'll go through the little details here to help you go right through it. Now first thing is you're going to have a whole bunch of connections. There's 16. So when you start going through this and you take a look and you have to ask yourself, oops, there's only 13 digitals. How do I get 16? Well, here's the answer. Use your analogs. That works too. Four digital outputs. Now, it's a little bit tricky. Let me go through what they don't explain very well. Here's the program. You'll see this on the website if you actually want to just download it yourself. But basically, what do you have to do for the analogs? These are all your digitals here. You want analogs? There you go. Right there. That's your A0 pin, which is called 14. That's the trick right there. It's number 14, 15, 16 for A2. You'll see it basically. It's the exact same code you'll get with all the others. Same output, set up the pins. Same digital writes as you scroll through those. Pretty straightforward. Same thing. The other thing you've got to keep in mind is with this, you actually have a 12-volt output you have to be careful of for your relay power. Now, right now I've got it running. You can see the little lights are going through, going through their sequence. Life is good. Now, you don't hear any ticks. That's because right now I don't have the 12-volt power supply plugged in right now. You have to wire it over here. You'll see two little blue connectors, that's what you want right there. Those two little blue connectors, that's what's going to give you your power to your relays. So if we go through, we just plug this little puppy in over here, and there we go. You hear that ticking? Same thing. Now they're actually working on the relays. So you can test this with the relay power not on. It's not going to hurt anything. You'll still see the relay lights going on and off. That's the trick. Keep in mind. Again, two points. Analog outputs for your digital writes. 12 volt power supply to actually power the relays on this circuit. Hope that cut through all the problems for you. Trying to make life simple as usual. Thanks a lot. See you later on the next episode. Bye-bye.